guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel, Wedding Guest Makeup with Drugstore Products. It was a complete fail. Roll in the intro. Keeping in mind. Thank you so much for joining my channel today in today's video we have created a full face glam using drugstore products only do you know how many years it has been since i have uh, stopped using drugstore i've completely switched to high end i don't know when that happened i don't know why that happened but i've kind of tried to retract myself and go back into drugstore and i did a huge shop and i've picked up like all of these bits and bobs to try and create like a full face of drugstore and um, i've learned such a valuable lesson today you guys are going to see when when the video rolls through and I guess when it comes to weddings the only people who have so much fun with makeup are the people who attend weddings because you have that much more room for creativity whereas when it comes to either mendy looks or wedding looks um you're kind of limited to what you can kind of create on your eyes but with party makeup look you can really go all out and creative it's been so many years since I've gone back into drugstore and oh my god let me tell you the game has changed like the quality of eyeshadows I never used to believe in drugstore eyeshadow like like, no, you cannot make me go near any drugstore eyeshadow or you couldn't make me go near any drugstore eyeshadow They wouldn't blend they wouldn't sit properly, but the shimmers these days Oh my god, and you can blend all of the mattes unbelievable even the concealers like we finally have yellow toned concealers in drugstore So all of my makeup was bought from super drugs. Well, you'll see where the lashes are from anyway <laughs> So if you want to see this full face drugstore super drug full face makeup tutorial then keep on watching Okay for lenses. I have my odara by modestry lenses in these are in the style naya which are sold out at the moment but i'll still leave a link for you guys down below because our lenses are so soft so natural looking so comfortable on the eyes that these are the only ones that i reach out to to prep my lips i'm gonna go in with the nyx cosmetics bear with me lip conditioner and this is i was gonna say this is in the shade this is a bloody lip conditioner smack that over my lips for drugstore moisturizer i'm gonna go in with the avino daily moisturizing creamy oil I'm gonna take a few pumps of that this is what i use on my kids by the way guys i haven't actually gone out of my way to purchase a drugstore moisturizer it has a really nice and um, creamy oatmeal smell to it for under eye prep i'm going in with the super drug brand it's a vitamin c brightening eye gel and basically this is packed or infused with kakadu plum and kakadu plum has the highest known concentrate of vitamin c of any food on the planet it comes on a roller ball like this i'm going to squeeze a little bit out can you see that guys smack some of that vitamin c on me Duh dark under eyes for further prepping i'm going to go in with a drugstore hydrating primer this is from elf once again i'm going to take a few pumps of that oh it looks like it's going to be matte how can that be a hydrating primer test a little bit oh no it's okay let's get this all over the face i see how it's slightly mattifying but it feels so moisturized on the face and i love the fact that there's no residue from the primer you know how like some primers especially like with that velvety texture has that like horrible rubbery residue afterwards look it's actually really good oh well done elf for further prepping i'm gonna go in with the revolution glow fix illuminating fixing spray i love going in with a spritzer even like three times during like the entire makeup slay so here goes and i always have to test if it's drugstore or any new mist spray i always have to test for droplet marks so i'm going to let this sit on my face okay guys i can safely say there are no droplet marks go get yourself one <laughs> for my drugstore eyebrows today i think i'm going to do it i'm feeling really brave today i'm going to shave the ends of my brows off because i really want that lifted brow i'm loving it like i really felt like it suited me when i did it for Aid. i'm going to go in with the nyx eye pencil for my brows because it's a really nice medium brown and the shade is called medium brown i did it guys i shaved my brows off note to self though never ever try Try and do something new when you're filming because I just wasted 45 minutes just trying to fix things and I did actually have to go in with some pomade which is from MAC Cosmetics so this is a fail already but anyway for eyelid concealer and brow carving I'm gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow concealer in the shade Neutral Buff and it comes in this sponge applicator like so so for that reason I'm gonna take it on the back of my hand and pick up and carve you guys know how to carve your brows so I'm just gonna speed this up Okay, let's get into drugstore eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Times Roxy Roxaurus Ride or Die palette. Okay, for transition, I'm going to go in with this lovely cool toned brown shade here, which is called Cookie. I'm going to pick it up with a fluffy brush and I'm just going to start buffing it outwards first. 
and I might actually use my brush like this so that everything just remains nice and lifted. I'm just working from the outer. I'm gonna really buff it in, but keep it all nice and gentle all the way to the inner socket. Really buff it out so it kind of joins the brow almost and even over the brow. I'm then gonna go in with this shade called Gingerbread with another smaller soft dusting brush. And with the same motion, I'm gonna repeat all the steps just a step lower near the crease. Then I'm gonna bring it all the way in towards the inner socket. I'm still going to use it upside down to fluff out and keep it all nice and diffused. Then I'm going to go in with a small defined crease brush. This is from Makeup Geek and I'm literally only going to concentrate it on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to turn it up and work towards the crease and keep it very soft and diffused. Wow, I love it already. It's so diffused and it's so lovely. I think I may have forgotten. This shade is called Cola. I'm then gonna pick up the same shade of concealer that I used on my base, add some on my eyelid and then take a flat shader brush and kind of cut the crease but keep it nice and soft. And I'm gonna pick up that shade and pack that on to my lid and then just overlap it over the cola. For liquid liner, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Cosmetics Vinyl Liner and I'm gonna keep it nice and diagonal and just make it gently connect into the brown smokes. Why is everything shocking me, guys? The ease of this liner is so good. Okay, and for lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Ilior Times Sabina Hanan lashes in the style Royal Heiress. It comes with its own little glue. The styles are so nice and fluttery. While the lash glue is drying, I'm gonna go in with some color corrector. The color corrector I'm using today is from B. Cosmetics, and it's the orange color corrector. Ooh, this is like, ooh, this is a bit like the Nikita Dragoon. Um, way too orange color corrector. I'm just gonna go in with a bit in that case and press in the corrector on my under eyes. For foundation, I'm gonna try this Revolution Pro Foundation Drops in the shade F10. I have no idea what this will look like on my skin. Maybe I'm not picking it up correctly. Maybe I want it to be wrong. Oh, that's better. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender. Um, I think it's just a little bit on the pale side for me. Probably would have gone in with something a bit more darker, maybe. Um, it looks like it's got a red undertone, but we can make it work. We can so make it work today anyway. Wow, it's so lightweight. I guess you'd have to have, again, good skin for this. Even if you wanna mix it in with your moisturizer, I'd reckon it'd be okay. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the same shade that I used for my eyelids, neutral buff. And I'm just gonna go in and highlight my under eyes. But I can already see that it's a perfect salmon tone for me. So I'm gonna mix it up with a, another shade from the Born to Glow NYX Cosmetics line. And it's in soft beige and I'm just gonna put that on top as a highlighter. And then I'm going to blend away. Again, I'm quite impressed. For contour, I'm gonna go in with the Barry M Contour Stick and I'm just gonna contour my life away, okay? This is a cream contour and thankfully, it's the almost like the right shade for me. So I'm gonna use the other side of my beauty blender and just blend that in. You can also use like a flat stippling brush. They're really good as well for cream contours. Well, I mean, it blends really nicely. Nose. I could totally build up the intensity of the contour as well. Nice. I like it. Got my lashes on. For setting my under eyes, I'm gonna try this Revolution Luxury Baking Banana Powder. Why am I laughing? Because I don't have any high hopes for it. Oh, I can already tell it's way too dark for me. If it oxidizes, I'm gone. I'm a dead one. I'm gonna put this on and I've had to take it on like the palm of my hand. Maybe I'm just finding reasons to not like it. I don't know. I don't really know. Anyway, let that sit and bake for a while. I'm gonna go in with the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. And I'm gonna take this middle shade here with a fluffy brush. And I saw Nikki Tutorials do something like this, right? She said, put bronze. Oh my God, so what the hell? Wasn't expecting that, right? I need to soften that. <laughs> what should I use? Oh, oh my God, I just feel like this is a huge fail. I'm gonna go in with the Collection Bronze Glow. So anyway, while we flop this, yeah. I saw Nikki Tutorials do something like this where she was like, put bronzer on your nose, then get your favorite setting powder and you can chisel your nose, okay. 
girl. I'm gonna try that today. And if it don't chisel, then we can blame Nikki Tutorials. Okay, chiseling, chiseling away. Keep pinching on the side of your nose, apparently. Maybe she meant that for her nose, because her nose is quite cute. Maybe it's not gonna work for people with dinosaur nose like mine. We shall see. Uh, I'm gonna keep on chiseling. This is not normal, okay? I am. I, I just wanna give up right now. I have never used this much setting powder ever. How can this even be? Oh, this is a fail. Fail, fail. What is this? And then you're supposed to do something. Oh shit. You're supposed to use the setting powder also on the bridge of your nose. She said, don't forget the bridge. That is stupid. That well, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix this. Sorry, I just keep looking at myself because that is just so dumb. Absolute fail, fail, fail. Sorry, but I blame Nikki Tutorials as much as I love her. It's not even coming off. <laughs> <laughs> FAIL! Oh, I don't even like this contour powder. I don't like it. Don't buy it, guys. Don't buy it. It's not for people like you. I'm really trying to love drugstore right now. Ugh. I wanna cry. I just wanna cry. I just wanna cry. I've never failed my makeup so badly. Just gonna go back to this. For nose contour. I mean, I think I've saved the contour, but we have definitely had better days. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Academy Blushed Matte Blush Blusher in the shade Rose Tea. It's probably also going to let me down too. I'm just gonna swirl it and uh, oh my God, it smells really nice. Oh, I mean, okay. Maybe it was the wrong color to use for today. Just, oh my God. Okay, anyway, moving on with this ruined look. For highlighter, I have high hopes in this highlighter. I'm pretty sure she ain't gonna let me down. I'm going in with the Revolution Pro highlighter. They look absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go in with the middle tone. And I just wanna see, ooh, I like it. What is wrong with your English? I am so impressed with, oh my God, come on, Modest Street. I am so impressed with drugstore highlighters these days. Like, I just feel like drugstore are absolutely killing it. You know a highlighter is bomb when it works on the deepest of skin tone and it pops. You know they've made a great formula. Okay, run it on the bridge of my nose. Not that it's necessary because it's completely ruined. Why would you even want to highlight your nose with a completely ruined contour? I'm just going to pick up the highlight, use it to highlight the high points of my brow. Uh, I'm going to highlight the inner points of my eye as well. If you're messing a look up, you might as well mess it up good, right? I'm going to take that brown NYX eye pencil and I'm going to colour in my waterline. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, oh my god, what is this? Girls, I am struggling. Look, it's not even transferring on my waterline. <laughs> it's an eye pencil. I am going to, one last time, try and save everything by going in with my matte bronzer and just bronzing everything just to get rid of that horrible pink. Oh, brown up the face a little maybe. Maybe that might help. Maybe that might cheer me up. I'm just gonna go in with a lip liner from Gosh Cosmetics in the shade Raisin. Oh my God. Uh, I, this is, uh, uh, oh my God. It is so creamy. Oh God, finally something that I'm enjoying using from drugstore. Oh my God. That is actually really nice. Guys, try this as a full lip color. I'm using the shade Boo from the palette just to soften that transition. It looks a bit, oh, much better. Oh no, you know what? I really like it now. Oh, I really like it now. Yeah, that's all we needed, a bit of boo. To set my makeup, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray. And once again, I'm just about to test whether it leaves any droplet marks. Girl, for everything that I just went through with so many products here from drugstore, please don't let me down. I love fixing sprays. The one thing I am gonna say is I don't like the way they smell. They smell very um, medicinal, medical. They smell very like that. Oh my God, what the hell? I look like I just came out of the shower. Oh my God, I forgot mascara. For mascara, don't look at me for anything. Just use what you have in your drawer. I, um, I give up. Right guys, and for this tutorial, I have my jewelry in. I have my Tika just placed on my head like this. I'm going with the matching chiffon scarf that came with the Abaya. And basically, I'm gonna have like one short-ish side, but still a bit long, and then one long side on the end. One end has all of the stones, so we're gonna leave that one on the end till later. And then I'm gonna go 
go in with the slightly shorter side make sure i cover around my tikka however and whatever makes me happy all right we are going to take i don't want to what was the point in wearing the necklace then you know what bonnet i'm just gonna do this that's it that's me hijab style done. I'm just gonna push these behind the earrings firstly. And then basically there is no security to this hijab style, woohoo. Showing you something that it won't even work. No, it will work, I'm joking. I'm gonna take some hijab pins. Is If you have some headless hijab pins, you can use that. I think that would work better. We're just gonna kind of pin around the, around the head. <laughs> so we've got two pins going on here. Did I just say this already? If you have headless hijab pins, definitely use them because you can't even see them. And I'm just gonna basically secure around because I need to go and take pictures of this um, style. I really wanna show off my necklace because man didn't drive all the way from Luton, drop it off to me for me to feature it in a video where you can't even see it. Nah, sorry, we ain't even, that ain't even happening. Oh God, why are you like watching like you've never done a hijab style like this before? Just take a safety pin and pin it at the back so then that doesn't move either. And basically that is the hijab style done. This is the side section profile. And this is also the side section profile. And that is the finished look guys. Wedding guest makeup. Here we go with drugstore makeup. Don't try this at home. I've just put my open abaya back on. I am completely loving the sleeves. Look how stunning they are. So angelic and so elegant. And basically it has a flattering belt as well, which is just like really matching to like the sleeves as well. It's all like accented together. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I certainly did not enjoy filming it. I mean, I am a big fan of drugstore makeup, but when it all goes wrong, and this is from trial and error, I am sure throughout time from playing Playing with the products that I've purchased I will find my best buys and I will continue using them in my videos so please don't be disappointed drugstore is amazing you know what guys sorry we were in the middle of saying bye but um I'm actually gonna put it behind my ear I'm going to bring this bit round right you're watching and I'm just gonna make it sit wherever the hell I want because there's a lot more beautiful drape to it you know there's a bit of finishing to it and I'm just gonna pin that up the back and let me just show you like how pretty it looks from the back because of the stone thing or whatever how i'm saying can you even see does it look pretty can you even bloody see it and basically it hangs a bit more prettier which product did you enjoy watching throughout this entire video i would love to hear your thoughts right about now if there's anything that i've learned from filming today's video is that i definitely need to start shopping a lot more drugstore i know nothing about drugstore makeup and what works and what not. I think I've been in the high-end world way too long and I need to like come back onto my levels and um, humble myself. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. You better subscribe to my channel for all the effort that I went through today. I shall see you all in a better video with makeup products that work for me, inshallah. Until next time, be yourself, keep it real. Assalamualaikum. Always be honest, keeping it modest.